Hawthorne, California. We got a nigga from Hawthorne, California, right around the corner from the Ball Smack Topsoil. He says, yeah, Ball Smack Topsoil, we listen to your podcast all the time, and we read the blog. Your shit is funny as hell, nigga, and appreciate the game. Okay. Uh... Here's my question. And um, I already pretty much know how I should deal with this, but I just want to hear your perspective. Um, it's like this. I met a real nice-looking female um, across the street from my job. Beautiful. She works a t- for a title company. Um, uh, she dresses really well. I was really impressed with the way she dressed. It's really beautiful. Um, went out for lunch, kicked it, had a real nice time. She invited me to her house uh, a few days ago um, for 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 to for a little dinner. I came by. She said this was like a new place. She had got like a little townhouse. Uh, came in. Came, it, was, it was real nice setting. She cooked for me. Was watching TV. Everything was lovely. I mean, you know. Then all of a sudden, the window gets busted out. Ah. So that made that scared the shit out of me. It made me real nervous. Looked in the living room. There was a brick in the window. Then I heard a nigga outside yell, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. And then I heard a door slam and the car peel out. I, I ran to the door, looked outside to see a nigga driving down the street. I turned around and looked at old girl and she was just mad, talking shit about this dude that she used to live with. And I asked her what was going on. She told me that uh, that was her ex-boyfriend. Um, she used to live with him at her, at dude's mama's house. And now that she just uh, on her feet and everything and the old boy is mad at her that she done moved on. So my question to you, Ball Smack, is should I continue with this female? Should I continue with her under these circumstances? Is it advisable? What do you think? Okay. So y'all understand that right there. This nigga was over there chilling with a bitch he thought was real nice, a good bitch. Having a nice time with the bitch. Then all of a sudden, a brick coincidence, just by coincidence, a brick come through the window. And a nigga yelling some shit outside, pull away, it's her ex dude. Okay, should he continue working with the bitch? All right, here's my response to that. Um, basically, you know, a lot of bitches just got crazy ass nigga attachments. You know what I'm saying? Most bitches do. Most bitches. Especially nice looking bitches out here, man. I mean, most of them. So, what I suggest is have a bitch come to your house, man. Have a bitch come to your house. Uh, It's cool to go visit bitches, but once you experience some shit like that, you don't want to go back over there no more, man. I mean, you know, you never know, man. That nigga might have been watching y'all the whole time. He might know what kind of car you're driving next time. He might vandalize your vehicle. I mean, I'm just saying. Think about it in terms of that. Like, okay, uh, just come, just had a bitch come to your house. Keep working with the bitch. I mean, if she a quality bitch, she a quality bitch. Just, you just can't be over there, man. You know, niggas will kill you, though. You got to be careful. A motherfucker will kill you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, is, man, it's weenieism and suckerism is like an all-time high. Nigga will murk you behind a bitch. So be careful. But I wouldn't throw the bitch to the curb because of that. But she might not have could control that. But just had a bitch come to your house. Don't go over that bitch house. That's my advice. You understand me? 